everybody this is uh christopher v. jackson again uh regarding the uh the bob beck electrifier so what i've done now is i've actually included on the output a let's bring that in so you can see it a i just called it a colloid generation option which is uh on the top end of the unit there is the uh sorry there is the pulsar output there sure we can see that the, it's a bit bright isn't it yeah it's a bit there's the pulsar out but standard and basically it just uh, incorporates uh, another mono plug where you can use your lead to actually plug into the if I get my lead the standard lead uh, <laughs> it's jammed in the drawer <laughs> uh, here we go that's the standard lead that comes with the electrifier so I'm offering this uh, as a as a as another option uh, on another listing. Actually, I couldn't modify the original listing. So this uh, the standard unit costs 65. The added unit will the other work with this now costs 75. Everything else comes to standard, but the pads, the lead, and everything, and you, you can use the same. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is just to use this standard lead with the unit now. What I have to do first, because I've got this unit here, I need to put the batteries in. So again, four screws out. You do this when you get the unit new anyway. And the uh, it's an extra socket in there, as you can see. And basically what happens is when you plug the lead in there, it disables the zapper circuit. And uh, that prevents you uh, being able to do the same twice you, you don't really want to do that and obviously with the three batteries you get 27 to 28 maybe 29 volts if you're lucky with the three of them together and by using the silver generation um, you're going to reduce the life of the batteries anyway from what the zapper is but um, I'm going to I have demonstrated in a previous video for a few minutes the, the voltage drop was about half a volt but I'm going to show you how easy it is if you buy two if you buy a length of silver rod off eBay, one and a half mil is pretty good. Um, you don't need any fancy connections, um, and I'm going to demonstrate that to you now. So I'm going to put the batteries in. There we go. One. And get the batteries connected. I'm just going to drop the lid back on. So the batteries are in. If I switch on the unit, the light's flashing as normal. Now I will put the just a, a couple of screws in just so I don't so the batteries don't fall out in my handling of this just so it makes it all a bit tight tidy. So hopefully I can make this a quick demonstration and not too painful. So I have two silver rods here. 0.999% silver and I have my glass here which I did a demonstration of before by using one of my silver rods with a lamp on so you could see how the conductivity is going and I've just got myself two rudimentary pieces of wire so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this wire one end okay I'm just going to cut off a bit of the insulation to expose perhaps that and maybe a bit longer so all you need you could use some clips or something and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap that wire onto the end of this uh, silver rod it might just clip off or something and uh, so I've got it just loosely connected onto there and I'm just going to bend the silver end over just to try and clamp it on some. And it's not going to be that drastic. And uh, where's my, get my pliers? I'm just going to crimp that on, as it were. Just to try and secure him on a bit better. There, so she's on. It doesn't have to be absolutely tight, so long as you're making that electrical connection. Now, the other end of the wire, I'm going to do the same. This might be a little bit... Uh, not as secure you might need to use a bit of tape or something but i'm going to strip the other end off like so 
and that is going to be connected to one end of the original lead. These would obviously connect to the pads. So this is an open-ended silver, uh, uh, just the standard uh, plating, nickel plating. I'm going to wrap that around there. Now, because this is quite smooth and it's, it's plated, it might uh, tend to make the uh, the silver just slip off easily. Uh, sorry, the strip wire just slip off easy. So it might be advantageous to use a sort of connecting block, sort of like a very small miniature connecting block. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to connect that onto there. I'm going to use a bit of small tape, a small bit of tape just to secure them on. If you bear with me, I'll just get a bit of tape just for ease of uh, demonstration to make sure that stays on there. And uh, it's going to wrap him onto there like so. I just want to show you how easy it is. Now, you could technically um, just connect three batteries in series and connect two wires for one positive, one to the negative. So I'm going to drop, drop the connect to your silver rods and then drop them in the water is uh, but i'm just showing you how you could do it that's with your with your um electrifier unit and the lead and with the extra socket that i put into the box now i now have one lead connected now at this at this point i'm not interested in what's negative or positive i just want to get the two leads immersed into that silver uh, into the water to generate the silver now i've got my other lead i'm going to do exactly the same on this lead Actually, uh, the, the unit's still on. I'll just switch that off for a second. Not that it matters, but I'm going to strip this wire back now. Try again. I don't want to cut through all the wires, do I? That should be okay. Snip the XF insulation off. Just wrap them around a bit like so. this on and again one end I'll just crimp because I want this this end to stay out of the water bend that around slightly and then get him in and so that's connected there onto that end and the other end has to go to the other probe connection here so I'll do that now And again, I should use a bit of tape just to temporarily connect that on. Bum, 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 bum. And let's get that other lead. Wrap that on here. Bum, 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 bum. Get him around there. So she's on. Now. Now that is on. So now I have the two probes connected to the two pieces of wire connected to that. And now I have one, one silver rod and the other silver rod connected to the other ends of the leads. Now, let's talk you through this a bit. Let's get rid of these tools. I'll just put the camera down a bit. Now here I have again, I have a glass of water here. There's my unit. Here's my glass of tap water. It's that big gin glass again. <laughs> uh, I did wash it out and make sure everything was clean. Uh, not that it matters for the uh, colloid generation. Now, when I plug in, when I switch on, and when I plug in to the silver colloid generation, the battery will go out because as I said, it disconnects the power to the electrifier circuit because the power is coming through this mono switch and when you plug it in it removes the power from the circuit uh, the electrifier circuit but gives the output voltage here onto the uh, output socket so when i plug this end in it will transfer the dc voltage of the battery whatever the current state of the batteries are to the output of that socket so i shall get you know between 27 and uh 
29, 28 volts, depending on the health of the batteries. So as you can see, they're not really long, these probes. So I'll just drop them in. I shall bend them over so they hook on. Now notice how far away the, uh, the connections are. I haven't connected the lead in yet because I want to get the uh, probes in situ. It doesn't matter which ones, you don't have to worry about which ones are negative or positive so long as they, so long as they're both in. And uh, then I'm going to, let me just switch that off. I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to switch it on. And we should start generating colloids straight away. And I'm going to show you is, is what the voltage is on there. Turn that on. And you can see it's already starting there, starting to actually what I call smoke. <laughs> it's not smoke, it's silver color, it's silver ions. So I'm going to go across these two silver and, and see what the voltage reads. Oh, it says minus, but I mean, okay, it doesn't really matter the, the polarity, so long as I've got uh, a voltage there. It's 26, about 26 volts. Let's go this way around. Yeah, so I've been using this quite a bit, as you can see. And so long as the probes aren't shorting, and we're generating colloid there. You can see I've disturbed the water, and she's swirling there around. Just leave that for a tiny bit longer. And as you can see that the, I've just made the ruder, very quick rudimentary connections there. And the colloid is, is the process is happening now. And she's fizzing away there nicely. Yeah. I'm not sure if shining any more light on it will help. I don't think so. Nope. You can see it there. Okay. And she is, uh, yeah. You can see it there. And I think that should do. So what I'm going to do is switch the, excuse me, switch the unit off and pull out the, the lead. She's off. Now, if I wanted to go back to zapping, I would take, uh, if you would use the same lead, what I'd do is just disconnect these two little fine wires that are connected to the, well, I could leave these connected, but disconnect these two, just pull the wires off and go back to the pads, connect the pads back on onto your wrist and connect it back into here. Uh, for the pulsing circuit, I want you to drink the water, I suppose. And as you can see, switch it on, it's flashing. So the uh, the pulsing circuit is active. Once again, and again, plugging that in disables that and puts the voltage back to the two probes. And I have listed this on eBay, and I'll add the link to this video uh, from YouTube onto the eBay page as well for the colloid generation. So that, in a nutshell, is that, people. So I will stir the, uh, I will stir the drink. I'll show you. I'll take the two silver probes out, and I'll just give you an indication of what it looks like here. It's a bit. Uh, I'll stir it up a bit. Quite translucent there. And uh, yeah, cheers everyone. And uh, <laughs> so, if you are looking for silver color generation from the Bob Beck unit, uh, please see the, uh, the eBay selling page for the details. And like I say, you will still get all the same the batteries, the pads, and the lead, uh, but you'll have to source the silver cores yourself. I could probably stick in a few links on the eBay page, but just search for silver wire. And what you're looking for is any length up to uh, you want to purchase, um, but I would recommend minimum uh, size of 1.5 millimeters. If you double that, it's more expensive, but 
you know, uh, you get more use out of, a, out of a three mil or a two mil, but 1.5 mil as such as this will do. And each time you use it, I recommend just to uh, give the, both uh, the silver a, a nice, so it's nice and shiny, a fine emery paper would do, or something like that. So with that, um, any questions again, please contact me if you're unsure or or what have you and uh, yeah um, yeah contact me and um, I'll be happy to help okay so short and sweet and I hope that helps thank you very much and goodbye